Hey there, have you ever wondered why your online game slows down when just you are about to win or why your new smart bill isn't working properly? It's frustrating, right? You might think it's just a bad luck. But the real issue could be something called port forwarding. By the end of this video, you'll not just only understand what is it, but also learn how to use it to make your digital life easier and more reliable. Networking can seem like a confusing world, full of complicated terms and acronyms. For most people, it feels like a mystery. But here's the good news. You don't need to be a tech expert to grasp the basic networking that can really make a difference in your everyday life. Today, we are going to explore one of those key concepts, port forwarding. We'll explain it in simple terms, use real life examples and show you how this often overlooked feature can be incredibly useful for anybody who uses the internet. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. So if you're interested in becoming a cybersecurity expert, this is the course for you, ranked number one by Career Karma. Our program prepare you for CEH, CompTIA, and CISSP certifications. Learn from industry experts and get access to the official EC Council kit, including labs and exam vouchers. Master strategies to secure your infrastructure from cyber threats and architect cloud-based security. So hurry and enroll now and secure your future in cybersecurity. So first, let's start with the basics. What is port forwarding? Port forwarding is also called port mapping. It's a technique that allows devices on your private network, like your home Wi-Fi, to communicate with other devices over the internet. Think of it as a secret handshake that lets certain data packets into your network while others are kept outside. Imagine your router as a bouncer at an exclusive club. Only certain guests or data packets with the right credentials are allowed inside. Port forwarding is like giving these guests a VIP pass so that they can enter without any trouble. Let us now understand how does a port forwarding actually work. So when a device on your network like your computer or gaming console wants to connect to the internet, it sends requests to your router. This request includes a device IP address and a specific port number. Your router then maps or masks this information with its own public IP address and a relevant port and then forwards the request to the destination on the internet. Let's say you're hosting a Minecraft game. Normally, your router blocks incoming connections for security reasons. But with port forwarding, you can tell your router it's okay to let the traffic go through so my friends can join the game. The router then maps the external request to the right internal IP address and port allowing the connection. So why is port forwarding so important? Port forwarding is crucial for remote access to devices on your private network. Normally, firewalls and routers are designed to keep unwanted visitors out. But what happens when you let someone in, like when you need to access your home security cameras while you're on a vacation or when you want to play a game with friends on your server? That's where port forwarding comes into play. Think of this way, imagine you're on a business trip and want to check your home security cameras. Without port forwarding, your router might block the connection. But with port forwarding, you can tell your router to allow the camera to feed through, making sure you can keep an eye on things from anywhere in the world. Let's look at a real life example of port forwarding. Meet Sophia who runs a small online bakery from her home. Everything was going smoothly until she decided to add a live chat feature on her website so customers could place orders in real time. But when she set it, nothing worked. The chat would constantly disconnect, leaving her customers frustrated. After some digging, Sophia discovered that her router was the culprit. It was blocking the necessary connection between her customers and her live chat server. The solution? Port forwarding. By setting it up, she was able to tell her router, hey, it's okay to let this traffic through. It's important for my business. With just a few clicks, Sophia was back in business. Her customers were happy and she didn't lose a single sale. That's the power of port forwarding. It's not just for techies, it's for anyone who wants their gadgets and tools to work seamlessly. So how do we set up port forwarding? Setting up port forwarding might sound intimidating, but it's easier than you think. Here's a straightforward guide to help you set it safely and effectively. At first, you have to identify the port number. 
identify the port number you need to forward. This is typically specified by the application or device you're using. For example, if you're running a Minecraft server, you need to forward port. A quick online search can help you find the correct port for your specific needs. Then we have accessing your router settings. This is usually done by depending on your router model. Then we have setting up port forwarding rule. Now it's time to set up the port forwarding rule. You need to enter the port number you identified earlier, along with the IP address of the device on your network that will receive the traffic. Make sure you select the correct protocol, usually TCP or UDP, depending on the application. And the last step is save and test. Now after you have entered the necessary information, save your settings and test the connection. Try accessing the application or device to ensure everything is working as expected. If it's not, double check your settings and make sure the port is open. Consider alternatives to port forwarding. At first, we have restricting IP address. For added security, restrict the IP address that can access the forwarded port. This ensures that only trusted devices can connect, minimizing the risk of unauthorized access. For example, if you're forwarding a port with remote access to a security camera, restrict it to your device only. Then we have using a DMZ. Another layer of security is setting up DMZ, which is demilitarized zone. This is a separate network area that adds an extra buffer between your internal network and the internet. By forwarding ports through a DMZ, you reduce the risk of exposing your main network to potential threats. Now, when you're concerned about security, consider alternatives like SEAC as well, which is Secure Access Service Edge. This combines network security functions, including VPNs, to provide secure access without the need of traditional port forwarding. It's particularly useful for organizations that require high level of security and flexibility. Now let's talk about the potential risk and the best practices you need to follow. While port forwarding is a powerful tool, it's important to use it wisely. Opening up ports can expose your network to security threats. So make sure you're only forwarding the ports you absolutely need. Additionally, always keep your software up to date to protect against vulnerabilities. Think of port forwarding like leaving a door unlocked. If you're not careful, it could invite unwanted guests. But by following best practices, using strong passwords and keeping your devices updated, you can enjoy the benefits of port forwarding without compromising your security. And there you have it. Port forwarding made simple. Whether you're looking to improve your gaming experience, access your smart home devices remotely, or run a server from home, port forwarding could be your game changer. So this was all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Do hit the like, share, subscribe button for more videos. Bye. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.